Australian scientists are helping lead the way to find effective treatments for age-related macular degeneration, the leading cause of blindness. Researchers from the Clear Vision Research Lab at the Australian National University and Korean biotech company M. Demune Inc. have teamed up in the hopes of finding a treatment or a cure. Joining me now live is Dr. Adrian Sianka, researcher at Clear Vision Research Lab. Thank you for joining us. Can you explain firstly what exactly is macular degeneration? Well, thank you for having us on, on the program. So macular degeneration is a disease that affects the retina, and it's currently one of the leading causes of blindness in the developed world. The Macular Disease Foundation estimates that currently approximately 1.8 million people in Australia alone suffer from this disease. So what motivates the Clear Vision research team here at the ANU to develop new treatments is because for the vast majority of people that have AMD, there are currently no treatments. Uh, can you explain to us how debilita debilitating the actual condition is? Is it something that uh, would creep up on a person very slowly or is it something that you're born with? Yeah, so the, the kind of AMD that, that our team works on is called a dry AMD, and this develops very, very slowly. Now, in the late phases of the disease, the person will slowly not be able to see faces anymore, not be able to see colours, and also not be able to do very simple tasks, such as reading and writing. So their central vision becomes almost completely dark. Uh, I mean, it must be really very difficult for a person uh, to be able to live with this. Can you tell us about the research that you're doing? Yeah, so we have been working for a number of years in developing RNA therapeutics for this disease. Now, these new therapies, one key challenge that we faced is being able to deliver these molecules into the retina. So the partnership with MD Immune allows us to do this because what MD Immune does it is manufactures a kind of biological balloon known as a vesicle. And this vesicle can contain the RNA molecules, it can shield them, and then deliver those into the retina to the precise location where they have to be to exert their biological function. So what, uh, what happens now with this research? Are you currently doing trials? So we are not uh, doing trials right now. We have a couple of more scientific hurdles to overcome, and these are all to do with multiple animal models. So we are really trying new experiments into the lab to make sure that, then, that when we take this therapeutic to trials, we have the best possible chance to succeed. Yeah, absolutely. Why is there no cure yet for this condition? Uh, that's because the the number of molecules that are at play in this disease is very large. And so far, there has been a number of attempts to treat AMD, but the issue is that previous treatments only targeted a single molecule. So the kind of molecules that we actually have been working on have the capacity to not target a single factor that causes AMD, but in fact target hundreds of uh, molecules that are involved in the process which drives this disease. Well, all the very best with your research and thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Adrian Sianaka, today. Thank you so much for having me.